Well, it's pretty much been raining all day. It's supposed to keep raining all night and most of the day tomorrow, too, so that's great. At least we're getting some water, but can't do much outside, so I got the old 200X up on the bike stand and strapped down a little bit. Hopefully it don't tip over when I take these back wheels off, but we got some parts kicking around for it. We got some brake pads that got to go on front and back, uh, a bearing kit for the swing arm, new bearings, and a set of grips. So I guess I'm going to get that done because we need to uh, ride this thing around a little bit this weekend maybe when it dries out on Monday. But I want to go through it anyway, check everything up. Uh, I think I changed the oil once since I had it. I need to get this pipe off and repaint it too, this old Cobra. But, uh, yeah. Anybody knows any real surefire ways to restore plastic, put it in the comment section. Let me know. Yeah, let me know if you know any way to restore them. Like wet sand in or... Whatever, they're not in bad shape, they're not broken or anything, but they do have a lot of scuffs on them I'd like to try to work out. I don't know if the wet sanding and buffing is worth it. It is the original plastic. It is a little melted on the one side from, uh, from the exhaust over here. But it ain't too bad, original seat cover. One little hole in it. I believe this is an 84. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, 84. So, all right, I guess we'll get started on this thing, get her fixed up. This thing's definitely loose. I don't know if they're supposed to be that loose, really. It's not like it's coming off of there. But, uh, yeah, we'll get this thing torn apart, see how it goes. If you guys are gonna be able to see this, but you see right in here a little bit of movement. You can hear it. That's the main bearings in the carrier starting to go out. So that's why we're changing them out with these guys. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brake side apart. I'm pretty sure either that or I take the disc side off. I don't think it really matters which side you take apart. No matter what, you got to take that off. Maybe we'll try this side because this is kind of suspect too. This thing is, I mean, I know it's got dampeners and stuff in here, but it's still kind of... Something feels funky there. Now hopefully I can leave this all attached and it'll just slide out. I guess we'll take this uh we'll take this brake caliper off while we're here. here and then there's another one up 
top here somewhere. Here we go. Ouch. brake pads look not too bad on the back but I don't use the back a lot I guess we'll tuck it up in there like that for now hopefully there we go all right well I guess there's a change of plans I guess we'll try this side never had one of these apart so I don't really know I jammed a screwdriver in the uh, sprocket over here to get the uh, the nut loose the end jam nut Apparently we're gonna have to give her the Gundy, right? Ooh, we're getting close. Inch and one sixteenth. Might work. 
snap-on socket. Oh yeah, that worked. Okay, that's that. Now we gotta somehow smack this guy without destroying it. there about this hammerhead here I have to get oh, it's starting to move it's starting to move let's put some lube in that in that disc Uh, we probably should take the chain off too. Let's do that. Let's get that chain off too. There's a master link on it. Somewhere around here. There we go. Oh, I heard it. Where did it go? It flew behind us somewhere. Oh, man. Oh, here it is. We broke it. Great. So now we're going to have to get a, a master link. Might be able to get one of tractor supply. Come on. Crusty anyway. All right. I'm going to go back to smashing it. Definitely coming out of there. Probably should get a bigger hammer. There it goes. There we go. All right.
Ba bink, ba bink. See how our nut fared, huh? It's all right. We'll get it back on there. Probably not the most ideal situation, but it'll go on there. We'll get it. Clean it up a little bit. Sand down that last thread of hair. Yeah, it was pretty crusty in there. This bearing dare, dare, barely wants to move. This one's pretty stiff too. It's moving, but not really. At least it didn't. Doesn't look like it hurt the shaft any. All right, we'll get this this thing cleaned up. Like I said, there's a there's a little bit of thread sticking out on these, so we'll be all right. We'll just give her a little how you doing, all right? Throw it back in there. All right, next step, we got to beat those bearings out. See if we can uh, knock these races out. It's pretty crusty, eh? Hey! Same for the other side. That needs to be cleaned up. Man, it's rusty in there. We got lucky. Got to it. Got to it soon. This thing's dancing all over the place. Man, it's crusty in there. Uh oh. Come on. It's stuck in the bearing. Jeez. Really?
there coming out. I guess we need to just hit it. Jesus, the bolt got me. Hmm. Shoo! What the heck was that? A chunk of something flew out of there. <laughs> Balls. That side came out in pieces. Huh. Even the race broke. Stuck in there good. Watch your eyes. It's coming. Piece by piece. Little chunk by little chunk. Bearings were pretty bad, eh? You guys should come around here and see this side. Can you see it? Not really. How about now? It's pretty gross. Seal, <laughs> so crusty. <sighs> all right, I guess we gotta clean all this stuff up. <sighs> Remember how it goes back together, right? Clean all these bores up. It looks like they're pretty good. What happens is these will seize up. Those bearings will seize up, and then they start spinning in this bore, and it'll just completely waste the swing arm in no time. So, I would say these ones weren't far from that, that's for sure. I mean, we're not going to be able to turn them now because we beat on them, but they definitely don't look good, right? Alright, we'll get it all cleaned up, clean the shaft, clean all the parts that go in there. Probably put some, uh, some anti-seize or whatever in here just, just cause. Kind of scared to blow in there. It's gross. There's a lot of... We'll get some brake clean. Clean that up. Alright, let me do that. We'll come back. Well. I got the bearing in the other side. I'm just spraying some... Uh, I don't know silicone lubricant just something to help these are sealed bearings anyway but I don't want I want it to stay a little lubricated for pushing the bearing in there I pushed the other one in already and I use this copper fitting you see the edges of it just the tips are pretty much the same size but it works you just take your time I got the uh the shaft cleaned up. I cleaned up in here. There is a little bit of pitting in this race. It almost looks like there might have been an old race that spun in there slightly. So. This one might be a little bit harder to get in.
Oh, shit. That sucks. I have to tap this back out. Making a video, I wasn't paying attention to what I'm doing. Seems alright. Hopefully I didn't mess it up any. Looks alright. Forgot to put the spacer in here for the bearing. The jam doohickey. again. Sure that sleeve can go up there. No. in there.
Same on the other side. All right, I guess we'll see if we can get this axle back in there. A couple love taps, get her seated in there. Somewhat. Probably should get something to hit it a little harder. Let's see if we can put this copper over in here and give her a good whack. Seat her in there. Looks pretty good. Looks like it should go a little bit deeper though. <clears throat> I guess it's in there all the way. All right. Now we got the disc, which we can clean off once we get it on there. Oh, this does have the, uh, the area for the seal here, I forgot. Seems pretty good. It is a little rough, but. Looks like it's had a couple seals on it in its life. All right, 1984, so it's been around the block a little while. Final chooch in there. It ain't gonna hurt, right? Even though they're sealed, at least it'll give the bushings and things something to. Oh, jeez. I forgot about that. We're gonna have to unbolt the skid plate. Alright, we'll come back. We gotta move that skid plate down and get the disc over it. Actually, it looks like it's a little bent anyway, so. Maybe we can just give it a little... Oh, don't hit the, the shaft. Jeez. And give it a little love tap and get in there. I don't know. I doubt it. They both look a little bent, actually. I mean, you would figure they would be, right? Phew. Close. Close. <laughs> That's a brass hammer anyway, if anybody wondering. Oh man, I'm gonna have to unbolt it. It's just not. Maybe if I do this.
opposite side came out actually. Okay, it's definitely spinning way better, that's for sure. So, and we don't have no side to side. That's just the disc. This thing is, I guess they're always loose like that, but this one's probably a little, a little on the worn side, I guess. Either that or the bolts are stripped out in it, looks like. Something's funky there. I don't have any spare parts for that. The teeth on it still look good, so I'll run it for a little while. I'm not going to beat on it too bad, so it should be all right. All right, so now the brake's got to go back on. I should clean this disc first. <sighs> these disc, or these uh, pads, they look all right. Probably hit them with some brake cleaner or something here. Ain't going to hurt, right? A little bit of the smuts off them. Same with the disc. Sheesh. thing definitely needs a bath too should have done it before I tore it apart but you know how that goes right. put these two 12 mils back in get the chain back on we'll get that master link rigged on there for now, I need a new one anyway, so. Oh, well, we got the hub back on. We're going to get the wheels on it. And, uh, I was, I don't know if you guys can read it. Let me see. J Pan. Coyo. So they might have been, they might have been the stock bearings, unless somebody, unless somebody changed them with Japanese bearings, but they might be original. All right, there you go, Sam. Put the wheels back on it. Maybe wipe it down a little bit more, and then uh, we got to get up here and take the front brake off. Let's see about there is a lot of stuff on this rotor. Hoping this thing isn't leaking, but it might be. I don't know. Have to get it off of there and see what's going on. This is just a pin on the bottom. All right. Well, just so you know, you got to unbolt the rim to get the caliper off. Look at this grody thing. Ugh. I think it's definitely leaking. You see the paint coming off it? 
It's not leaking that bad, but I don't know. It's looking, looking pretty suspect. Are these sliders even sliding? Probably not, right? All right. Still raining. <laughs> well, I put the front brake back on there. Uh, it does still work. We still got to put this on there. 10 millimeter. It does work, but I don't know. It only feels like 20% maybe that it actually works. Ooh, slingshot ammo. Oh. All right, so put the wheels back on. Like I said, the brake, we still got to do the grips. That's easy, though. We'll get that done real quick. Put those new grips on there, and then it really needs to just be cleaned. It's dirty. It's got some grime on her. It's got some grime from 1984. <laughs> well, a little tip. When you order your... You know, your grips, make sure, make sure you're getting the appropriate grips for how your bike's set up. See, this one has a twist throttle on it. Most ATVs have a thumb throttle, so the, the grip size is the same size. And if you see this, you know, one is bigger for the twist throttle because this one has a, a twist throttle. So you have to, I had to order them for a dirt bike, you know, because it has a twist throttle. So, just a heads up. Let's see if I can hack this thing off of here without cutting myself. That was almost easy. Should probably get a razor knife, huh? Found one. it up. Go for the bigger one. Sometimes these things can be a bear to get on. So when you bust out the air, If it'll go on without the air. <laughs> Definitely needs the air. Oh, well, we got them on there. They're on there good enough. <laughs> feel a lot better than those vinyl ones that were on there that's for sure all right i guess we get it off the stand take it for a test drive whenever it stops raining